This is a 13 on your side weather update. If this cold, dreary weather has you down, I would be one of them. Okay, just a little bit longer. I hear there's a pick me up on the way. Yeah, George outside on the weather deck to tell us about the return of the sunshine starting tomorrow and even warmer temperatures too. Oh, uh, yes. I just can't get any colder. I, you can, but you know what? Uh, not this time of year. We're going to warm things up rapidly as we get into the weekend. Got my hand up as well for, yeah, don't like this cold weather. 13 weather ball is red. Yes, and warmer weather ahead. And this view sponsored by Tullymore Golf Resort. Temperatures not much colder than they are right now. Around 40 for you overnight lows. Wind chills will still be in the 30s. Cloudy skies up until early afternoon tomorrow. And then skies will rapidly clear from a northwest to southeast. And we'll top up 50 degrees for a change. And we'll get even warmer after that we've got that low pressure system that's finally filling and lifting after being around for the last week or so. It's now finally getting out of our weather pattern and the warm air is just racing across uh, the plains right now. The winds are dying down because that low is uh, filling. We're going to hang on to the clouds for the most part here tomorrow until late afternoon and then the sun comes back out during the day on Friday. Lots of sunshine. Southerly winds will pump up a lot of warm air and then that warm air will continue to come in with a south wind not only on Saturday but Sunday and as well, and it looks like we may extend uh, warm temperatures on into Monday as this storm system is a pretty strong one out here in the plains that will bring us some showers by Monday. So dry and warmer weather headed toward the weekend. We're going to be up around 50 here tomorrow despite the clouds until late afternoon and then we'll break the, into the low 60s here on Friday and here come those 70s. We boosted our temperature to 70 now on Saturday and we'll be even warmer for Sunday and just as warm coming up here on Monday. Long Range Outlook says we're going to hang on to some of that warmer air at least uh, from the 25th through the 29th. Uh, high chances for that but the cool air is uh, pooling up out to the west here and uh, they can have that weather out there. And in terms of rainfall, it looks like the uh, storm track is going to stay away from us. There'll be some moisture coming up off the Gulf, but that won't reach us until later on in the period from the 25th through the 29th. A forecast then for tonight, staying cloudy. Winds are going to be down considerably from the last couple of nights. Upper 30s to low 40s for overnight lows. Mid and upper 30s up north, a mainly cloudy skies with a lighter west wind. And here in the greater Grand Rapids area, we're looking at temperatures between about 37 and 38. Cool night, but not too far away from our average low. 13 on your side forecast. <laughs> Clearing skies late tomorrow and then clear skies from Thursday night all the way through Sunday night. The clouds will increase after a start, sunny start now on Monday, holding off the rain until Monday afternoon and Monday night. Cooler behind that next front that comes on through. We'll be seeing highs back down into the 50s, maybe a shower the following Friday. Bit of an improvement here today. Very cold, however, at least we saw a bit of some sun. A lot more coming our way starting tomorrow afternoon. 13 weather ball tonight is red. Even warmer weather on the way. Well, it'll get here eventually, and this view sponsored by Tullymore Golf Resort. Highs today up into the mid 40s. Quite a bit below our average high of 59, however. We'll get closer to that next couple of days, most likely by Friday. Came within two degrees of our forecast high of 44, and we've done that two days in a row within three degrees. For the month, four and a half degrees colder thanks to the last several days. We'll start to eat into some of that deficit through the end of the month. Pretty close to average for precipitation, a little below average for snowfall, even though we've had a trace and just a little bit more sunshine than usual. Checking out how much rain we have had, we are now pretty close to average here in Grand Rapids. More over toward Muskegon, you have had several days with rain, so now you're running an October surplus by about an inch. Also surpluses around Alpena and Traverse City, and of course up here in Marquette, where some of that was from that snowfall earlier. Uh, since the autumn season began, we're still running quite a bit of a deficit in most areas, with the only exception here, Milwaukee and Muskegon, on up toward Traverse City, where you've had a lot of rain this season as well, and even up around Marquette, uh, seven inches of rain. Uh, since the uh, fall season began on September 1st. Good news is this low pressure system, which has been hanging around for the last several days, finally filling and heading on to the northeast. Winds are going to turn to the southwest all the way through Monday. That means sunshine, warmer temperatures, eventually getting to 70 plus now by Saturday, and that may actually last through next Monday. But another cold night here tonight. Uh, tomorrow we'll see mostly cloudy skies with more 
Clouds in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon, highs around 50 in Hart and Ludington, low 50s Muskegon, Holland southward, up north, upper 40s to near 50. Morning clouds, afternoon sun, and similar here in the greater Grand Rapids area, looking at highs to 50 plus finally, and then we'll get even closer to 60 plus by Friday. 13 on your side forecast. Tons of sun from Friday all the way through Sunday as we crack the 70 degree mark now on Saturday and into the 70s on Sunday. Clouds will uh, move in on Monday. We'll still hit 70 before the showers roll in and they'll end Monday night. And then cooler weather will follow back down into the 50s Tuesday through Friday of next week. Next week we may see some Friday showers.